All right, should be fine. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Gamers Lounge Winter Cup here in the semifinals of the losers bracket. Uh, there are only, I think, four teams left Can't in the losers bracket. Go. This is very close to our ending right man. now. Uh, so we have six teams left still in the competition. Any of them can win, although some of them have better chances than others. I'm Sister Crescent, and I'm here to bring you 4K Charge versus No Terror Play. We've seen this matchup before, one of the group stages. I believe I casted that as well. But uh, that one turned out to be quite a, an outmatch by No TB. I actually don't expect 4K Charge to still be here at all. But I guess um, I just don't know the scene like I should. So that, that one's on me. Let me fix a few things for a moment. Five seconds. Project. Okay. So as far as uh, I can tell, um, this is a BO1, and uh, the team who loses this will, well, get eliminated. And due to the nature of BO1s, it's going to be quite hard to say who's going to win, because it's pretty much literally everyone can beat everyone else, just if uh, the skill level isn't that far off, and you can kind of uh, deal with the nature of insanity, oh my god, oh it's happening. We have Troll and Sniper banned by 4KT, while Bristleback and Zeus are the bans from No Terror Blade. No Terror Blade, as the Radiant has picked up for themselves Axe and Juggernaut. The last of the spinning duo, very very good heroes of course, that needs no introduction. Heroes that create space and heroes that take space and then create space themselves. What a, an amazing idea that you can have a hero that's good at all stages of the game. It's almost like it's imbalanced. Almost. To go. And the other team have Shadow Fiend and Wind Ranger. Wind Ranger, of course, has Five recently seconds. got a resurgence in popularity due to the ability to hold decent items. Radiant's and band. now that Slash Away has been popularized due to, well, that Pycat uh, Wind Ranger game a few days ago. It's actually Wind Ranger, I mean Wind Ranger game a few days ago. It uh, would appear that this could be that, just exactly that. So, Damn for those of you who are go. not aware, um, <clears throat> a slasher's way involve face boots, <coughs> nulls, maybe bottle into rush acronyms and then deadles. While a more traditional way of playing Wind Ranger would involve um, face boots, of course, Millstrom, a blink, and or uh, in between agonists or get blink afterwards. Of course, you can still get blink uh, playing the full, uh, playing the rushing axe build, but. Um, it's fine either way. It pretty much is just the ability to hammer on utility with your Wind Ranger <clears throat> or focusing on a pure physical DPS instead. So, Benz, uh, we have um, Dazzle and Lich as two bands for 4k. Lich is once again another band that I don't know. I think they ban every band that hero every game I see them play. And I've never seen him being that amazing. But Lich could be very good in this case, though they kind of don't want that. Oh, whatever. Dazzle, very good hero that can counter physical damage, of course. Also, help hero to uh, heroes to be less vulnerable to being bursted down. I see Clockwork and Spirit Breaker. Clockwork is, of course, extremely strong, uh, strong offlane solo, or even mid laner, although it's usually more offlane solo. But that 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 hero needs I, I don't know, I've been saying that the hero is freaking ridiculous for the longest time now. So I don't see any problem with that at all. Spirit Breaker is just kind of things that you never want to play, you never want to see ever. It's kinda of like Broodmother. I mean no terribly could actually pick Broodmother. It's actually one of the things that they have done quite a bit. But I honestly I've never I never want to see Spirit Breaker. Not because he's not strong. He's actually absurdly strong, but he's too random for my taste. But it can seriously be extremely frustrating. He also disables through BKB, so that's a good reason to not have him. It could be a cancel Witch Doctor uh, channeling or anything like that. Witch Doctor is, of course, a very good support, which <clears throat> no TB has picked up time. now. Has the disables and all that. Lions also has disable and burst. It's a very, very powerful lineup so far, but. 4K lends a little bit more towards magical magical damage at this early stage, while no TB is uh, seems to be it doesn't actually it actually lacks quite a bit of damage so far with uh, no TB's picks at least in the early game. Train Protector doesn't deal too much damage, or 
anything notable at all. I'm not sure what kind of trend they will run though. We have seen mostly a support trend so far, but we've also seen an uh, offlane trend. Didn't work, but who knows? Earthshaker is another pick for the 4k team. This is uh, probably a su uh, support Earthshaker. Like it not to be, but unfortunately, I think that's just how the games go nowadays. I see, haven't seen Lena for a while, but well, that, that is just Ten how it is. To go. They have the, a lot of disables so far for 4k. They actually like, they don't like a lot of things. They have, they have CC, they have stun, they have burst, Reserve they have. Uh, they don't actually have a frontliner though, but their, their team is rather well run with. There is no obvious synergy between these heroes, but it's just good spells upon good spells. I hope it does things. And both of these uh, supports kind of like to have an early dagger, though. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, it's going to take a bit of discipline to populate their uh, inventory properly in order to prepare them for the mid-late game, especially when they're playing against Axe and Juggernaut. Uh, Viper is the last ban by no TV. Um, Viper could go anywhere really. They don't have any heroes that's particularly weak against the Viper because both of the damage is kind of physical. It doesn't care too much. But yeah, it's not that bad either way. It's the hero that you, if you don't like the fact that they can group five men five with seconds. Viper make and just death ball down your buildings and you can't do anything about that which it doesn't seem like they have anything to do about it then uh, you just kind of have to ban it out and it makes sense to ban it out it's just the hero is I don't like the hero so I don't think he's strong I don't think he's strong at all actually I think he's um he's too predictable but either way Rain it's Lena it. ban oh, that, was, that was what I was talking about before hmm they do in fact require a mid after all we could see try to take the offlane Axe jungle even. So it's going to be the Tinker mate they picked Dire up. And I've seen them play Tinker. I think it was them. It could be. I could be very wrong. But I've seen Tinker being played once. It was not on the winning team, but that was also a straight out play. So uh, there's nothing to say about that. I've seen. We've seen Tinker getting kind of a resurgence. The hero has terrible win rates across the board, but it's still very strong. It played well, especially if uh, your team, your enemy team, doesn't have anything to specifically hunt you per se. Although the yeah, yeah, Dire does them. The four of Hadaya heroes can buy Blink, and two of them have a really, really long range disable, and mo and all of them have like have uh, untargeted nukes. So yeah, Tinker is gonna have a hard game this game unless they get unless he gets somebody made space for them, which may not be possible if X gets an early if X gets an early lead. <laughs> and can proceed to make space for Jugger and Tinker, then sure, that could be perfectly fine with uh, global support and try for all that, but otherwise, it's gonna have to. I'm gonna have to see how, how they play about it. At least the Radiant support doesn't need that much, but Dire support. So Dire team is a team with that needs so much goal and EXP. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how they're gonna go about this. Because all of these heroes need farm. And XP, Places and I guess Wind Runner can be the space creator, or Slack could go um, get a really, really early Midas into Shadow Shadow Blade, and then make space from there. It could be possible. Not gonna say. I uh, haven't seen them yet, but we'll see how that works out for them. On the, we'll go ahead and <coughs> sorry, do a quick introduction here. On the uh, No TB side, we have a Gullifort playing the support Wish Doctor. Uh, QE Kilu, I don't know who that is. But he's playing the support trend protector. No, no, actually, it looks like mid. No, that's not true. What? I mean, it looks like support, but then I see a pull tango. I don't understand. But I guess he's just pulling too much. Yeah, Whatever, it's fine. So support trend protector played by uh, QWZXC. Thirty seconds. Um, mage playing the offlane axe here. Mid tinker played by Black Rudy and your safe lane juggernaut who just got to run in. Against the enemy Wind Ranger. Wind Runner. Wait, did I just introduce everybody already? Oh, this is Super Rudy. Yeah, Black Rudy is the mid tinker, and Super Rudy is the off uh, the bottom lane juggernaut. Enemy team 
4K Trash, of course, have Max playing the Shadow Fiend here, Ban on the support line, Spade playing Slug, Boots first, support Earthshaker playing, uh, played by Rain here, is gonna do a creep block, I guess, Ghost on the other team playing Wind Ranger, no? No, not gonna do the Fisher block, just going to block creep the old fashioned way, which is fine. It doesn't really matter how you do it as long as the enemy team doesn't get a good block off and the creep meets somewhere here, then it's going to be impossible for uh for the enemy team to zone you out because there's a freaking wind ranger. No, not impossible, it's just gonna be a little bit harder. So you can see you can try to do that, but you're taking a lot of damage already and because this jug at level one isn't really that strong, you get Fisher power shot into the face, you kinda dies. Top lane, of course, off lane X spinning. No CS is just just here. This, this large hammer may not do too much. Tinker and Shadowfin mid lane. This is like literally 2010 right now. Been, both heroes been buffed and nerfed in a sense since then. Oh, maybe not Shadowfin. Shadowfin really hasn't been nerfed. Heroes just weird. As far as the lanes go, bot lane will probably be in favor of Dire, as you can see, until, um, well, actually Trent got the pull off, so this might not be bad for Radiant, because even though Wind Ranger really shouldn't die here, it's really hard to kill her, it, uh, this Urshaker provides a liability, because he needs to roam, he's taking a lot of damage, though, Trent, you're not chasing, it's a cast, very good cast, but he's only level 1, so it doesn't do too much. Chuck is forcing forward. Trend protector. This Wind Ranger is taking a lot of damage. This is a fast wish, Doctor. Does he have a salve? Yes, he does. So he should be fine. The top lane. X is uh, pushing back the slug and line. Hero is kind of ridiculous in that sense. Though you don't, you can't just battle hunger your supports anymore. Mid, I see an early lead, serious lead, a little bit by Tinker, which is you kind of expect. Bottle flaring out, no bottle for Shadow Fiend just yet, he's just gonna take this rune. Okay, it is in fact also flaring out. So, Levinson, yeah, it's about the same. Hist by Trent, he's gonna take it. He can actually run down this Wind Ranger if he wants to. It's actually so strong. Actually, kind of ridiculous. It's a word here. I'm not sure what it's for. It watches like the weirdest spots. This is not like it sees a smoke gank. Uh, I don't know what this word is for because you don't need to watch it. You need to watch them go up like this watch anyway. So Wind Ranger, it's gonna get spun on here. No, very good Fisher, but this is still dead Wind Ranger. I think he just turns around trying to kill up this Witch Doctor, but he does not even charge his power shot fully. Level one power shot isn't very good. That's an easy kill. I do have my money on. Radiant, um, if I were betting, of course, and actually doing that, hopefully. Nepotism, not nepotism, uh, ethics and nonsense. Let's see, level 2 on Urshak right now, level 2 on Winner. This is a really, really problematic lane because Winner is really, really slow now uh, compared to this Jug. And they can go as offensive as he wants to, and they can't, they can't punish him. Just how it goes. You can actually just go straight ahead and hit them. It's a good thing that he likes the EXP. He does have a start shield that he can do this. If he doesn't, he can't tank creep waves. If he does. It's not like they. It's not like it hurts him too much anyway because he has uh, heals. So, who's not sure who's gonna take this through? The Earth Shaker. This. Oh, does it block? Yes, it does. This could be a dead trend. I don't think he can walk up. Nope, just enough. It's only level 1 power shot. As you can see, it's not very strong. Here comes a Wish Doctor though. A lot of damage, it's slow as well. This might be a dead Urshik. I think Urshik will die first because his strength is quite fast. Not even needing it. Trent will heal himself up. He should not die here. There's a power shot. No, no, no. He's, he should be... F no, no. Okay, whatever. He's, he could have just turned around and killed this Wind Ranger, but it didn't matter. Because... Double kill for uh, Wish Doctor anyway. You can see there's two supports just zoning out the two offlaner. It looked good for a while, but the fact that they didn't get to block off this camp mean that the creep wave was pulled back and they pretty much just lost this offlane right there and there. 
Screen runner has no EXP. So he needs a lot of EXP. This jug is almost level five. Jesus. It's got the wish doctor is almost level four too. Four is lion no? X is five. You can't do anything about this. It's actually impossible to do anything about this. They could just go ahead and kill this lion or the slug even. Probably not the slug. Slug probably should die. But lion is super vulnerable. One of the better things about tree support is that you can rotate whatever the fuck you want. They can't know about it. Here comes the slow too. Oh, that's a very good one. But the slow is there. He can call him. There's the call. He's tanking. Here comes the ultimate from Axe. He's gotta get that one kill. I don't think Slug understands what the what kind of situation he's in. He actually didn't tangle until there. If he tangled first, then the slug is probably dead. I'm not sure why he's running back as well. If he could just call the slug and he would be dead. What is he what is he running away from? I don't even know. I still don't know. I guess he's just waiting for a reset from his uh, trunk of boots. But by the time that happens, this uh, lion would have been back. So that was 100% a wasted opportunity. Rune denied. <laughs> no, no gold for you. Not even level 4. So sad. So the salve up from Slark, no boots though. Uh, seems like no TB is playing just about as well as I expected them to. It comes to forward, there's no gomi slash. I'm not sure what this jug is doing. Oh, he does have that. He's healing up too. Maybe we gotta kill if this uh, wish doctor was... I don't know what this wish doctor was doing too. He's so much stronger than both of these heroes, especially considering that... And there's no Fisher left. So, top lane. Slack that kills, gets killed off. Uh, this should be an easy kill for X as well. All the disabled from Lion is on cooldown. Dunk, yep. How much damage? It's 250 level 1? Yeah, it's 250 core level 1. I think it used to be 275, I don't remember. Uh, as far as CS's go, mid is about the same. Nothing really happened. Both, both the heroes just gotta spam out wave. It's actually a... A no march tinker, wow. I have not seen this in a while. This is actually quite bad. It's not, uh, well, I, I don't want to say it's bad, but it's the reason you don't do it anymore. I, mean, have, I haven't seen it done since 2010, I think, 2011 maybe. The reason is that you're gonna get uh, into a state called AXP Hell, but this, they may get this kill first, which makes it kind of worth. Double race, not gonna hit Tinker twice. So that may have made it worth, maybe. He's not he's gonna need a lot of levels to catch up in terms of farm because once he gets his travels, which is gonna be pretty soon because he's free farming, he's not going to be able to uh, effectively push out creep waves or clear stacks because he does not have march and nobody is even stacking for him yet, which I also think is unoptimal. But I suppose the supports are kind of in that position. Well, this Wish Doctor really should stack somebody. Raise, raise. This is just really weird how this game is going out. This is Travel's recipe for Tinker already. He should have activated double damage there. To farm, I mean. Yep. Has to do it anyway. Ushaker is sitting here, but the uh, Shadow Fiend is taking a lot of damage. Ushaker can get this kill, but no, he gets scouted out. He get this melodic mist, but it doesn't matter. Laser is off cooldown, and with the, how the trend is being doing, I don't think 4K has any chance in this game at all. I'm not even kidding. It's like this is what happened the last time as well. There's nothing, there's nothing um, unexpected about this. Oh, here comes the Oh, what? How did that not latch to a tree? What? Okay, I, oh my god, my lo I lost my voice there, but how the hell did that not lash? They were like, he was there, there was this, oh my, what? Whatever, man. Top lane, this axe, this axe, no, no spin, never lucky, never lucky. Oh, it's luck though. Axe does not have any mana left, he does now. He could blink forward and dunk if he wants to, but he's gonna go away. I think that's probably for the best. I mean, it would be pretty good for him to kill this slug. I don't think he'll die either way. Uh, the fact that he did not give up his trick is probably the better choice. 
and a soul ring on tinker as well uh, you want you would expect of course and it sees if he goes for the uh, Yule's Bloodstone, they get being thingy. Or, I don't know what he's gonna go for actually. Probably Blink, maybe. Blink is what you usually do. The usually get. Soaring up. There we go. Okay, the Tinker Engine is back online. It's only 10 minutes. So, Dyer's gonna have a bad time. Especially now that I actually thought the Urshaker will be sitting, sitting behind Shadowfeed mid a lot. So they could kill the Tinker and Rome and shit, but they got to the bad end of all the lanes, top lane. There's a call. That's doing a lot of work. Dunk? No! He's a little too slow on the trigger there. As it comes to the line, stop back. That was definitely his fault. He did not need the last spin there to dunk. Line has hex, but I don't think that does too much. Here comes the TP though. It's the TP of Windrunner. There's a dead one. The slap is taking a lot of damage but he's not in dunk lane range now he is that is uh that's his mega kill streak given to sf double kill he's got a lot of gold he actually just got blink off of that uh, push doctor get blocked off by fisher comes the laser fight he wants the laser laser not the correct hero i'm not sure about this Need to see something. How do you even do things like that? Just hit sinking missile, nothing? It's not how you. It's just not how it works. Oh my god, I'm actually so mad. Whatever, man. So Shadowfin can build almost complete heals or uh, get a blink. Either way, she probably is gonna get heals. Bot lane. The Juggernaut's just gonna duke it out. Yeah, TP in. Gonna get the start. just couldn't save that bottom tower. So yeah, no no Omni, but not a lot Omni would have done anything because it's like ulti I guess, but yeah. So I guess Slack you kind of want the kind of uh, kind of spells that goes through, um, just it's just AOE spells, you know, you could punish him instead of letting him go fully single target on you. As far as get, this game is gone, everybody on, okay, try the 6, Wish Doctor is almost 6, he really should get 6. 4 and 4 is the support from Dire, so even though the, the Shadowfin is doing good, very good job at catching up, uh, his teammates aren't. So he's gonna have to do a lot there. He's actually about a blink, which is fine. They have enough disables to justify this. I'm actually not sure what this Witch Doctor is doing, refusing to farm with, uh, with Cask. It's not like he's gonna do it for anything else. And not using mana is, is essentially wasting mana. Top lane, Wind Ranger, Wind Runner, Dranger, whatever. Comes a blink, Lion as well, trying to get his stun off. The very good cycle. I don't want to fight in this though. Ulti from SF is mostly to fight the slow. Axe is just fucking back. SF has nothing left. He's gotta get cold here. That's a lot of nooks. He's dead before even the dunks. Shackle does not lash this time. Wind Ranger. Wind. Wind Runner. Fuck. <sighs> what is Trent doing? Oh, ulti actually hits on both heroes. Here comes a Juggernaut ulti killing off the line immediately. Wish Doctor for the backside comes to TP in by Slack. He's gonna get cold if he's not careful. He's just gonna stay here. What is this Jug doing? I don't think he can... Oh no, there's a still laser debuff. Wait, how? Where did the X die? Oh, the X came back and got assassinated by uh, Power Shoot. Radiant's bottom tower mm. seen better days. Was maybe was it worth the what did Lion die? I think he died. That's kind of fine, I guess. Because Radiant is better at uh, farming multiple lanes anyway. This Chuck is backing off. He could have they could have very easily killed the uh, the Shaker there, I think. All his spells are pretty sad in terms of um oh he's going straight in for rush? Well, he can do this because uh, Colin Blade and Tree Armor. They should know too, there's nothing to detect this. He, he did walk in and take him out, so. He also has heal if he wants it. Top lane, Steam Mage is here. Oh, that, that rocket. He's gonna easily kill up the slug, and this lion looks very dead as well. 
Yeah, with this, they're just making all the space that this jugger needs. We pick up the, the Aegis. Gonna get this Manta soon. Manta is pretty good. Doesn't disjoint anything in particular, but it's pretty good. Ashaka still not 6 yet. Line still not 6 yet. This is actually quite bad. They're losing so much space, they don't they can't go anywhere to farm anymore. And their their um the jungle is being assaulted pretty much. It comes to TP. It's the Why are they Oh this disconnect by Jugger. Okay, that was really weird because I <laughs> there was a Tinker TP event and I wondered why the jungle was backing off, but apparently he deceived. But yep, there it, there it is again. I'm taking this game quite seriously because I didn't expect it to be like this. Well, no, no, that's that's, that's not wrong. I didn't expect the picks to be like this, but I expected the game to turn out like this. You can see the all the die heroes are just kind of struggling against themselves here, and Tinker support everywhere is too strong. I gotta say, even though this Tinker isn't farming as much as he die wants to down. with the level four marcher machines. The uh, early laser is doing a decent job. He's kind of getting, he's still kind of getting hit by the the consequences of that. Oh wow! There's no ulti on this shaker. See, this was really unnecessary, but I don't think it matters in the end. Oh yeah, because of um, the fact that this tinker is level 11 and he took max laser, he doesn't have. Any martial machines of all, he's getting quite difficult to zone out this creeps. Taking a bit, quite a bit of time to farm, but it doesn't really matter because he's he gets too many kills anyway. Kills that he really shouldn't have, but circumstances has depicted that he is able to. Here comes a slug. No omni slash left. I don't think this wish doctor is running anywhere. Oh, body block. Let's try to. Whoa, nice side. Uh, what the hell? Why do you run like that? I don't really understand. Fisher is very good, but they don't have level 6. Well, they do have level 6 with Lion now, but Lion refuses to skill his goddamn ulti. Now he's gonna die. And he does. And, and Jugger disconnects again. Wow. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah, that was really weird. You get like a, a 3 man. A 3 man impale for like a 3 man Fisher. Your Lion gets your 6, and they run away. That's just awkward. I mean, not as quite as awkward as uh, mid fight DC, but you know, Egyptian internet, no. There's nothing you can do about that. Oh, we're wondering why I'm not saying anything because I expected the the pause to be over by now. Unfortunately, rules of large numbers telling me that that's not gonna happen. Dear God. So might as well look at the set of the game. Obviously, a radiant is super far ahead, but those two kills were pretty costly. This heroes. Do have uh, streaks, not streaks per se anymore, but they are worth quite a bit. And uh, two versus three is the kind of the decent trait that I would want if they could, uh, if they could imagine it. Where is the? Okay, Jug is running away. Tinker is in the middle of everything without mana, and Trent is no health left. So this should be an this uh, engagement should be over quite soon. When you look at the, the item progression, Slug is getting his Shadow Blade, trying to get a little bit more of farm, I suppose. Shadow Fiend is going straight for PKB uh, to deal with... I don't know what he's trying to deal with, his Tinker, I guess. That's the only thing that PKB does this game, because everything else is super physical or, uh, or piercing. Uh, Shaker has not, it's nowhere near his blink, he's not even level 6 yet. Lion doesn't, have, doesn't even have boots. Well, he does have boots now. Uh, Windrunner, phase bottle, stick, it's very very low tier in terms of farm as you can see. 
Let's see what it is. This it's about 500, 551 net worth back. Like, you kind of know what the, the state of the game. Radiant's really just getting just really where they need to be. And that this jug disconnecting all the time is kind of problematic. But hey. At least the trance isn't dead, and this healing work is not being microed, so who knows? Radiant bottom tower ain't a pretty sight right now. Still there, actually. What? Just realized that. Well, this X illusions. I'm actually not sure where X died. Oh, well, he dove way over here, so I guess that's why. This is Shadow Fiend. Is has uh, he has some kind of form? I don't think Slack can. Beat Jugger in the in the end game still no. This guy is very very fat, and with uh, Tinker slowly approaching his level four march, it's going to be quite a bit of a pain to walk through that kind of a uh, fight without BKB. This way, does BKB actually work anymore against that? No, it actually gets blocked. Okay, I thought. Yeah, I do. Huh? Is my memory just wrong? No, at least BKB will kind of counter Tinker, so they got that going for him. Smoke Gang straight in, it's level 6 online, of course, finally. Uh, Eshiko is still on 6 yet, but they're trying to look for a kill. If they pick up this axe, this will be pretty good. Everybody's missing, though. So, Dire, Radiance, they're grouping up mid for some reason. This is actually the worst thing I've ever seen. This is actually the worst thing I've ever seen. Because they are 5. They are off the off the map, but they instead instead of staying off the map, they chose to show five people at the time, which allowed pretty much everyone from on Dial to farm freely as as they want. That is probably the worst thing. Okay, I should stop saying things like that. More ch more DCs and more pauses. There's really nothing you could do about this thing. So. And well, yeah. Well, you kind of run out of place, uh, run, run out of things to talk about in games like this. But think about um, think about solo casting is that even though. I haven't yet found a good solo caster, a yet good right, co-caster. It does give you a certain kind of zen to do these things on your own. I've had like two people I really really like to co-cast with, but one, one, one of them is practically a pro, and the other has stopped playing. So unfortunately, things like that don't happen too often. Oh, Shaker, trying his best to farm his level 6, he's not dead yet. He's looking to be dead. It's a blink. Nope. He called before blinking. Not so sure what's up with that. But hey, not sure what's up with the movement either. I mean, yeah, yeah walking up here is kind of like walking like this is kind of discreet. But if your Trent walked through the enemy goddamn tower, you're not expected to get a kill. So honestly, that's just kind of dumb. The tower is dead though. So they got that. And they're just getting all the kinds of, uh, of support in this kind of game. Slack It's now revealed that he is running through a central word. So he knows that. I mean, he knows that before because of his ulti. I'm not really sure some, if there's any of this. But at least Tinker is doing well. I mean, if they just four man here for a while and Tinker TPs everywhere, they will win just because of how much better their farm is. If Jug is, um,. Coming Asians and and axes, axe and witch doctors spamming down creeps, creep waves and things like this. There's no TP of his strength. He's probably dead. He can ulti now though. He doesn't even need to. He just runs away. The slug just actually does not have enough damage. If he doesn't have anything, anything. 
Oh, very good call. Three man rider in straight into to Trent Ulti. Not that that was a very good one either, but a low ground. Wish Doctor Ult just killing everyone. Shadow Fiend is the last one to survive, but he's taking a lot of damage as well. He's holding himself up. Here comes the, here comes the Juggernaut for the back line. He has only Slash, but he elected not to use it. It seems like that has been a little weird because they, he could have easily killed the Shadow Fiend there with his Omni. And uh, there was some damage. His Aegis has expired but those were the kills those were quite good kills yeah well, when, when i say he omni immediately i don't mean omni the shadow fiend but omni the lion so that he doesn't get disabled and uh, the lion will be dead by the time uh sf eels dropped so yeah it's actually quite weird to see axe dying so fast you can't just tank things anymore doesn't actually have that much. Well, actually, like a four stuff in cases like this. Oh, okay, it's a pretty easy blink out. Okay, he should be fine. They say should. Yeah, they have nothing to. They have nothing to cancel the TP except for, um, except for, wind runner stun. But this guy, he doesn't even have. He actually does not even have ulti, and I am not okay with that. I'm actually just not okay with that. Just jump. A lot of burst damage. He easily dies. Axe, he wants to ult something, but the enemy is already dead. Too much too much damage. This goddamn Urshaker as well. We're still not level 6 yet. Jesus. So sad actually. And this line is, hasn't even gotten to use his ulti. Probably just uses just ulti things. Like he should have ulti the, the jugger <laughs> more than anything else. In the, in the with the fire the bed limb, but it's just, just opt not to. TP TP wish doctor, uh, w working towards his eyes of course. There's just nothing you could do about it. The dire, my one of my level two, a level fourteen tinker now. He's doing quite a quite a bit. He's not farming very well. He's for a tinker because he didn't get early match. But uh, due to the nature of this game, it, it's working out fine. Jam now up an X. I'm um, not too sure if I like that too much. I mean, if he gets the jump on Slark, then Slark is super dead, but otherwise, I'm not sure. Nobody's pushing this bottom lane. I guess because everybody is afraid of Tinker. Actually, he's so strong because you kind of remove the ability for enemy to split push. And if you can do things like that, then suddenly the entire map belongs to you. Like, nothing you can, nothing the enemy can do about it unless they get. Uh, at least, at least slot plus one, mm. possibly plus two. If this tinker get any kind of defensive item as well, I don't know what that means because Arabic. But hey, but hey. So here's the thing. I don't know if it's just me. I'm an antisocial fuck. I do mean antisocial, not a social. If you don't, I don't know if it's just me, but I do in fact enjoy the uh, the zen of uh, solo casting. At least until, at least compared to co-casting with people, I don't know very well. I need to talk to somebody for at least, at least a thousand word, worth of essay before I can comfortably say that uh, I would like to co-cast with them. That's not to say that other people casting isn't good. Well, most people aren't. I'm not saying I am either. But it's just how it is. It's just Lux. Yeah, it's definitely Lux. Porno is even easier to hear. <laughs> I'll come to Juggernaut and re reconnect. But yeah. Maybe one of these days, eventually, Toto will finally crack and we'll finally co cast together. That is so gay. The fuck? Anyway. Uh, is this a Sajin Yasha? Should I feel? He got this Oro Club a long time ago, and then he got Eels, which I pointed out, but then he got this Yasha, which I don't understand. 
Is he buying a Menta style? Is he buying a Sanya Yasha? I don't know, man. Oh, he's buying a BKB Menta. Who knows? It's, uh... hmm. So, Rosh is respawning in about a minute. Uh, Radiant should just really focus on killing that. With that, they could probably push out the lanes and uh, get where they need to be. This Tinker shouldn't die. I say shouldn't because there's no blink on the dire support, so they, he should be fine by himself. As long as they push out two lanes with other heroes, they could they should be able to get this rush quite easily. Wards everywhere as well. Most of them are very deep, which is probably correct because Dyer can't leave the base and they're being starved. So in that sense, Radiant has already won because they're just kind of taking it slow like they should. And this is what I don't get. How the fuck are these marching machines affecting uh, siege creeps but not mud golems? How does that make any sense at all? Whatever, man. I remember... Wasn't there used to be a time when Lina, uh, Lina Nook, at least Dragon Slave, affected, affected um, Siege Creep? Or maybe that's just my Warcraft 3 days toying with me. I can't even. No, whatever, man. I don't even know. What the diary needs is to smoke and catch our Tinker somewhere, probably. So Rosh is back. They see it. They killed very, very easily. Jug actually got a BKB now. So he's got very strong here. Not even no healing word he is. He is not that tanky because only three levels in stats and all that nonsense, but he's gonna do fine for himself I think. Leading network and all that. Enemy is just kind of trying to spam out waves, which isn't bad. But they're getting way up bomb as they should be because they're losing. So now that the Rosh is dead and the net worth difference is hitting 15k, this should be the time that uh, Radiant can push, especially considering they they don't have a lot of ultimates they have to account for. The only thing that they do need to account for is I think Death Ward, which this Witch Doctor is very closely getting his Ags. He really should have been farming the jungle to get level 11 more than anything else. I don't think Ags even does that much without it. Jug is alone. Uh, separate by Fisher, but here comes a jump line, immediately dies without any kind of interference. Here comes the Omni Slash, actually goes forward, killing off Windranger, and Slark has to be get, just getting zoned out. They can't touch this BKB jug, but without the jug, they can't push the tower either. And Tinker is just spamming out. Should just more be more focused on March, I think. It's probably the better way to do about it, to go about it. And Master Ben is off cooldown, tower is dead. Should get this Rex quite easily. Windrunner is still not gonna respawn in about 15 seconds. He does not have buyback even if he wants to. Fisher, just random Fisher. I don't, I don't like where this axe is. Just is. It's like this axe is. should not be here. Axe, he does no practically no physical damage anyway. And if he keeps sticking. To wow, if he keeps sticking to buildings, he's gonna get fissured. He's gonna get his uh, his um, blink disabled. And nobody wants that. Here comes the blink. Oh, the Dagon! So much damage. Gushiko immediately dies. It's level three Dagon, and no buyback for him as well. Oh, actually, he does have buyback. I don't even know if they. I don't even know if he should. I don't know even know if they can do anything. Rax falling as expected. See Shadow Fiend. I'm not sure what he's doing with his 2000 gold. They're not fighting and they're not split pushing either. So that's, I don't even know what's happening right now. They're just gonna give this up. Well, Slark's coming in from behind. He misses his pounds. Uh, Blink Axe stays here. Oh, as well. Here comes the fighting, but we can be on juggling. He's already on cooldown. Shadowfin immediately dies, so is the support Wish Doctor dunking onto the Earthshakers and Slug is the one that's left behind. Oh wow. Long range power shot? Doesn't mean anything though. Because GG is called the better team won. Oh, is this even done 
I even understand how anybody could say that this is unexpected at all. But hey, at least we got a, we got a fast game. Maybe I can catch the next game as well with this. Considering how fast this was.